Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm going to be showing you how to do an old school washout, no, an old school twist out with hair grease. So guys, before I get into this video, I just want to make sure everyone's okay. Let me know how you're getting on in this current situation. I was a bit stressed out and I did come off social media for a few days just to clear my mind and, you know, get my mental well-being up to scratch. Let me know how you're coping or getting through this crisis, I guess. Leave your comments down below, guys. So let's jump into the video. As you can see, my hair is prepared and I have greased my scalp. And I'm going to show you the hair grease I use to grease my scalp. If you have seen my last video, which was my hair grease review, then you can see the hair grease that I was talking about. And it was the one that I liked the least, but I used it today because I used it on my daughter. The smell went, it doesn't actually smell as bad as it does in the jar. I greased my scalp with that. It makes me realize why my hair flourished so much as a child. My hair was being washed on a weekly basis. When my hair was being greased, I suppose when you're rubbing the grease onto your scalp, you're stimulating the hair follicles and obviously that promotes growth. So even just doing my hair now, I greased it down the middle, down the sides, and then I sectioned each part. It's a section by section and I greased my scalp. As I was doing that, I suppose it was stimulating the hair follicles. So then that in turn promotes growth. I have seen a vast amount of growth in my hair in a short space of time using hair grease. Well, hopefully it just continues. I'm gonna show you how to do this old school twister, as I said. When I was a child, my mum didn't actually leave my hair as a twist out. She just used to do it in some juicy, chunky twists. But she used to do it in the way that I'm going to show you now. My hair's damp. I'm going to comb out my curls. But that's what you need to do, guys, to get the best twist up. Right, so I'm going to take out... I'll do the back section. Let me just do this front section first. Because I always start with the back section. And I feel like sometimes I'm not facing the camera enough for you guys to see. So my hair is quite damp here near the roots to the middle but my ends are quite dry so I'm just going to respray those and here's a little tip guys so the bigger the curls obviously the bigger the twists if you do skinny twists then you will have curls that are stretched I hope that makes sense guys I'm sorry I'm thinking of it in my head as I explain it to you I hope that makes sense Here's how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so now my hair is damp. I'm gonna go in with my favorite hair grease for styling because it has a great hold. And it's the Blue Magic Indian Hemp. As I've shown you in my last three videos now, this is getting to be, be, getting to be a regular feature in my videos. So all I'm gonna do now, like my mum used to do, the old school way, take some of my hand, rub it into my palm, rub it so it warms up. I'm gonna start with my ends first and then work my way up. And just make sure my hair is completely coated. I'm going to put a little bit more on my ends as they are the oldest parts and the driest parts and prone to breakage. Is that equal guys? I can't see. Can you see? Yeah, I think that looks equal. So I'm, as I said, I'm not going to grease my scalp again because I have just done that. I'm going to put a little tiny more grease on this section just to make sure all strands are completely covered. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, my hair is coated. I'm going to comb through to get rid of any remaining tangles. And then I'm going to brush it through with a hard bristle brush. You'll get a nice smooth, sleek twist out. It's because the more you comb, the more volume you get in your hair. So that's showing me that the curls are combed out and I'm gonna have nice strands. Run the brush down my hair. So now I'm just going to do a two strand twist, but I'm going to do a rope twist. So what that means is as I'm twisting the hair around like that, I'm also going to be turning the strands. So just watch. So this ensures guys that you get a nice even twist out throughout your hair and also that the twist stays in. Now what my mum used to do when she used to get to the ends of my hair is she used to then split it into three and plait it. Um, I don't want to do that because when I used to do that to my own hair, I used to rip out the ends. So all I'm going to do is not, I'm not going to twist right down to the ends. I'm then going to twirl them around my finger. Like so. And if you feel it's going to come out, then just put a little bit more hair grease for hold. And that's it. That's a nice rope twist. Okay guys, so I'm gonna get on with the rest of this and uh, just keep watching.
Okay guys, I'll do the rest of camera and I'll come back to you when I'm nearly finished. Okay guys, so my hair's twisted now. My hair is partially damp, but this is the thing I like about styling with hair grease because I find that my hair just dries in no time. So I can just do the style I want without having to wait for a hundred years. Okay. All right guys, so I'm gonna go let my hair finish drying and I'll be back to you tomorrow because I don't think it's gonna fully dry how I want it. You know that meme about when you take your twist out too soon yeah that will be me and i'm not looking forward to that so i don't want to put all this effort in to do my hair and then wasting it so i will be back to you tomorrow and i'll see you see you in a minute hey guys so i'm back now it's the next morning and yet again like my last video i have to do a school run and i am in a rush so i'm gonna have to quickly show you these end results my hair is completely dried it dried within about a couple of hours to be honest and the last part to dry which is usually my crown Maybe it was dried in about three and a half, four hours. But my hair's all dried now. So I'm just gonna quickly do the takedown. Look at that. Okay, let me do the wrist. I'm gonna start separating, but I'm gonna quickly do it off camera. But just so I can show you, this is how we'll start separating. So I'm going to unravel a little. So I don't wanna disturb the curl pattern too much. And at the roots, I'm just gonna kinda of gently ease them apart where they want to separate naturally. All right guys, bear with me. I'm just gonna quickly do that. And then I will come back to with the final results. Okay guys, so these are the end results. I'm going to wear my hair to the side today because I like that style when I have my hair out but this is what it looked like in the middle, the middle part. <laughs> I love the results, my hair just feels light and super fluffy. But as I said, I'm going to wear my hair to the side today. Just, yeah. Okay guys, thank you so much for washing. Washing? <laughs> Wash your hands. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to leave me your likes, comment, subscribe, share. All that jazz and I will see you soon guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.